This is the very beginning of what uh, we plan to be a companion video to the piece that we did in three separate segments this summer on the studio interior in uh, Sheffield, only this is going to be about the human figure. This is the setup. So we're now in my studio in New York. And <clears throat> how did this all begin? It began as a still life that I had set up and planned uh, basically two years ago. For various and sundry reasons, including leaks in the ceiling and being away in the summer, I was not able to get to that still life, which is over here. It's the blank over here, which is all worked out in golden section ratios, which we talked about um, in the interior uh, still life of this summer. You can see the skull. You can see Norman Ader as uh, <coughs> you can't see much probably in the, on the film, but you can see that this was all worked out, um, ready to go, ready for the for underpainting and, and grisaille. Well, it didn't happen, and, and yet I'm not willing to give it up. So the drapery here, uh, the drapery over here, everything you see in here was set up uh, to be a uh, still life. And I decided that I would do a figure piece because I hadn't had a opportunity to get into the figure for a couple of years and I really I had this wonderful model so Stephanie came and I said well look you're a dancer she reminded me of this the other day I'd forgotten uh, you're a dancer so just get up there and do something so she took certain dance poses and <clears throat> we selected two of them a crouching pose a crouching pose uh, that was on the right and a standing pose. And we shifted back and forth, right or left. She had brought a camera. Uh, I uh, don't know much about using the camera, but I took some photographs which, in point of fact, have been helpful not to transcribe, but just to get a feeling for what the pose would be. <clears throat> I didn't tell her what to do. I never do with models. Uh, we get in a general feeling and, and, and what the model wants to do and who the model is comes through from them with as minimal amount of direction from me. Then when we get further into it, we uh, have to make decisions. Is she turned on the left more uh, sideways to you or more frontally? Uh, these things, which we better talk about out there when we have uh, the painting in front of us or the map, are very important. So that is how it all began. And we intend to follow this through to the very tail end as we did with the still life.